with uh, with example number five, we'll take a look at uh, rental houses in Hawaii and how that's affected depending on the price change of a rental price in Hawaii. So if the price of rental houses in Hawaii increases from $2,000 to $3,000 and the quantity supplied increases from $5,000 to $10,000, find the elasticity of supply. So we'll go ahead and find it first and, and graph kind of how it looks like here. So the elasticity of supply equals the percent change in quantity supplied over the percent change in price. Now, um, they don't give you the actual percentage. You actually have to find the percentage yourself. So we'll go ahead and do that here. You, we'll use green here for the change in quantity. So the original quantity is is 5,000, the new quantity is 10,000, and the original price, we'll use, uh, uh, we'll use red, the original price, P1, is 2,000, the new price is 3,000. So let's go ahead and find the original quantity, or let's go ahead and find the percentage change in, um, in quantity first, since that's on top. The queen is always going to be greater than the princess. So 5,000 minus 10,000 all over 5,000 equals negative 5,000 over 5,000 equals negative 1. Again, you don't want to find the absolute value on this because uh, with supply, it's positively correlated, so you're going to get a positive number anyways. Right? So if you, if you happen to mistake and actually did find the absolute value, it's going to be irrelevant because according to the law of supply, as price goes up, quantity supply goes up. So if you get a positive uh, increase in price, you can get a positive increase in quantity supplied. Conversely, if you get a negative uh, price, uh, if you get a negative, uh, if you get a decrease in price, then you're also going to, you're going to get a decrease in quantity. But uh, understand that you, you don't, there's no reason to find absolute value. And in terms of price, you have 2,000 minus 3,000 all over 2,000 equals negative uh, 1,000 over 2,000 equals negative 1 half. So the elasticity of supply is going to be negative uh, 1 times negative um, 2 over 1, which equals 2. So basically what this is saying is that the supply of rental houses in Hawaii is going to be relatively elastic since uh, E is greater than 1. Now what does that mean? What that, what that means is that assume that the people that are renting their houses in Hawaii, that they, they are only willing to, uh, as a whole, they're only willing to, to rent out their houses if, they're, if the price of the rentals are fairly high. So the all, all other alternative is to stay in their house and, uh, and live there rather than rent it out. So if, if the supply is relatively elastic, then the suppliers are fairly price sensitive to uh, whether or not they're going to decide to actually move, uh, move out for the summer to rent it out to uh, a tenant. Whereas if it was inelastic, then they're going to rent out regardless of the price of... Uh, of the, the rental housing market in Hawaii. So that's kind of a, a way to actually look at that. Now, how would that actually look on supply and demand curve? Well, let's take an actual look at the numbers and go ahead and graph it here. So for the price, we'll start at zero here. We'll go 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000. I think that's the highest number we'll go to. And for quantity, we'll go in increments of 2,500, so 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, and 10,000. And so this is a quantity of rental housing in Hawaii. So when the price is 2,000, uh, the quantity is 5,000. So when the price is 2,000, the quantity is 5,000. Okay? Whereas when the price is 3,000, the quantity is 10,000 there. Okay? 
Now, I only have two points here, but let's go ahead and uh, connect these two points together. And what you're going to see right here is that the, the slope is relatively flat. And basically, the reason why it's flat is that it is, uh, it is elastic supply. So here's the, the, the change in, in quantity supplied. And again, this is a supply curve. So this, this uh, distance here, the percent change right here, is going to be greater than the percent change here in, in, in price, percent change in price. Which, so this quantity, which is on the numerator, is going to be greater than the percent change in price, which is the denominator. And that's why you have something that is elastic. It's very price sensitive. So uh, homeowners in Hawaii, uh, before they want to rent out their, um, their houses, um, they're, you're gonna, they're gonna check out the prices. Um, so that's the example of elastic supply. So thank you again for, uh, watching this lecture on the other elasticities. Uh, I hope you tune in for, uh, another lecture and, uh, have a great day.